Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you guys are new. My name is Dink and I post Disney related content and all things Disney on this channel. Now today is a very needed video. It's been quite some time since I've done a video like this and it is my lounge fly collection. Now if you are not new to my channel, you guys already know how I do it. But if you guys are new, I love lounge fly i'm a huge lounge fly collector and i am constantly getting new bags literally all the time so it's hard to keep up of like showing you guys my collection so what i do is i put them into separate parts um i have a whole playlist on my channel so i will link it up above and down for below for you guys to check out if you guys are interested um but yeah it's really hard to keep up so i just put them in different parts so you guys can see them all since Usually these videos are long period. <laughs> um, so showing all my backpacks at once all the time and constantly having to update it, I just do them in parts. If that makes any sense whatsoever. <laughs> um, so today we're doing part five and shortly after this part, there will be a part six just because I haven't done one one in so long and two, I've gotten so many backpacks and wallets recently. So it's just like, a lot to show you guys but enough rambling let's just jump into the backpacks so the first one i have to share with you guys is this one uh it has been in a couple of videos a haul video and my favorite and one of my favorites from amazon um it is this backpack it's a mickey lounge fly now i like i said purchased this on Amazon. Don't sleep on Amazon, guys. There are lounge flies in there. I would do some research, especially if you're getting a popular bag, whether it's going to be cheaper on Amazon or cheaper like buying it on lounge fly or a different store. But this was, map bag was pretty cheap. Um, and I'll link as many lounge fly bags as I can just in the description for you guys. But it's just a cream color bag and it's shaped more of like a square, um, than the normal bags where it's kind of like an oval or more round. Um, you have Mickey Mouse at the bottom embroidered and then there's the Disney Lounge Flight Pack. The back side is just black and then you have this smaller pocket right here, larger pocket right here. And then this is inside, it's just black. It's a pretty big bag. When I got it, I was like, oh wow, this is a really big bag it has a lot of room unfortunately there's no like zipper pocket in this bag but it can hold quite a lot of stuff it can hold um my hydro flask in it and everything this is just a nice backpack i have worn it to the parks before you can even fit like a jacket in here if you fold it really good <laughs> i don't watch like a folding folding video in order to fit it um but i love this backpack it's very simple and like kind of like chic it gives me like that like what's the like bag company mm, i don't know fancy bags but it, it seems like a fancy backpack that you would buy at a luxury luxury bag store um but it's not that expensive and I'll link it down below for you guys. So there's that one. My next one I have is a Marvel one and it is this Winter Soldier one. I got this one in a Bibbidi box. This one sold out pretty fast. I believe there might be pre-orders still available to get them like later this year. I'm not 100% but if I can't find them I'll link it down below. But here it is. It's basically just the design of Bucky's arm has the red star on the top. I really like the buckle detail right here. It says Marvel Lounge Fly, the plaque right here. So you have like this smaller, larger pocket. The side pockets are not real, which if you know me, that's big pet peeve for me. There's the side pocket. Same on this side. The straps are more of like a darker gray. And then it has like kind of a symbol, the red star right here embroidered on the back. And then, the inside lining is like a darker gray. It says Winter Soldier with his symbol. And then there is a zipper pocket in there. Mm. I love this backpack. I've used it so many times, like so many times. I love it so much. It sits on 
my shelf for right now. <laughs> um, so a lot of my backpacks either go in my closet or they go on my shelves, but for the most part, I do use them all. So there is this one. My next one is one that's definitely so perfect for the parks. I got this at uh, World of Disney at Downtown Disney. And it is this one. It's the Disney Parks Icon bag. It's so stinking cute. I love the blue of this backpack. There's confetti all over and then there's different icons that like represent rides and stuff. You have Dapper Dan, the dog from Pirates, Teacups, Minnie, Mickey, the goat from Thunder Mountain, a churro, a parrot from like the Tiki, Enchanted Tiki room. We have Peter Pan. And then of course I had to get a good backpack with a castle placement. So the castle is right here on top. And then I just have this wishable keychain of Mickey Mouse on here. I thought it was very fitting and I love that he's wearing this little tuxedo outfit. So stinking cute. The keychain is available at Downtown Disney at Wad as well. The side pockets are real. I usually use these side pockets to put like my hand sanitizer. I put my cell phone here. Um, I'll put like my fan that I use when I go to the parks in here as well. Just things I can easily access in there. And then this is the back with more icons. And the inside lining is gorgeous. I love it so much. It's literally the perfect lining they could have chosen. And here it is. It has balloons and Disneyland and stuff. It's like the lining of the popcorn you get at Disneyland. And at the Disney parks, there's no zipper pocket, but this bag, so stinking cute. I worn this bag out quite a lot. I don't think I worn it to the park yet. I think I posted a picture of me outside of the Disney gates when Disneyland was still like closed um, from the pandemic. And there's a picture of me with it, the backpack. Um, but it's this cute little backpack. I feel like this is a must in your collection, especially if you're a Disney Parks lover or a Disney adult. I feel like this backpack is just like perfect. I'm not sure if they're still available. I don't know. <laughs> but if they are, I'll let you guys know. I know not online, but maybe at WAD still. I'm not 100%. Maybe in the park. I'm not sure. <laughs> Next backpack. I have here is a princess, and it's my favorite Disney princess, and that is Rapunzel. So cute. I got this one at Box Lunch using my Box Lunch money, of course. You guys know me. Use your Box Lunch money to get lounge size. And if you guys want me to do like a video explaining box lunch money, how I use my box lunch money to get lounge size, definitely let me know in the comments. But this one I got with box lunch money. It has Rapunzel at the bottom. She's like a little chibli. Her hair is so cute. And then there's like a bunch of flowers. Some of the flowers are like just sticker print or like print printed on it. And then some are embroidered. You have these ones right here. So stinking cute. It's so adorable. I like these size pockets as well because like you can fit quite a lot in this smaller pocket. And this is just what the side looks like. These pockets are real. This is the back. So stinking cute. And you have the Disney Lounge Light Pack right there. And the inside lining is adorable. Let me show you guys. It's purple. It has all kinds of flowers in it. And then Pascal is hidden around in the print. You can see him right under the zipper right there, I believe. And there is a zipper pocket. It's a really cute bag. One of my favorites. I do use this one constantly. I have me and Marcus did a Rapunzel and Flynn Rider Bound. And I wore this backpack to the park. So it's so stinking adorable. I love it so much. If you guys want me to do like a video of where... I try to match my outfits with my lounge flies or like Disney bound with my lounge flies. Definitely let me know in the comments. We can, we can totally do a video like that for you guys. But there's that one. And then next backpack I'm gonna share with you guys is one that I've been wanting. I wanna say, did I pre-order it? No, I didn't pre-order it. I wanted to pre-order it and I didn't. I'm not really big on pre-ordering my lounge flies. I usually wait for them to hit the site in stock or I wait for them to hit like box lunch or hot topic or something. Um, I just don't like waiting for them, honestly. I mean, I'm already waiting for them. So like, uh, yeah, just me, it's just me. But it is this Vanellope backpack 
Look at how so stinking cute it is. Vanellope is one of my favorite Disney characters. She's so stinking cute and adorable. But this backpack, guys, like, it's amazing. So you have Vanellope on the top here with her cute little rosy cheeks. You have her little candy, and it's all embroidered. So adorable. You have, like, a little ponytail with a little red wine licorice. I don't know exactly what it is. And I just love the detail that it has, like, her little jaw string like you know it's so cute from her jacket and also has like kind of like this dum 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 or like gum drop whatever you want to call it in pink on the zipper you have the disney lounge fly plaque on this side you have like the details like of her pants or leggings that she's wearing the stripes of it that's like white and purple and then this is the back side it has you're my hero the little cookie so stinking cute the straps are pink as well it's just like so stinking cute i definitely want to do a vanellope like bound or like cosplay or something i think it'd be adorable it's really like a simple cosplay to do honestly um and then it has that charm right there as well and then the inside lining is pink you have Vanellope all over it with like candy and little treats, so adorable. And then there is a zipper pocket. This backpack's so cute. I have yet to use it. I would love to wear it to the parks, like all my bags. I would love to wear it to the park. But there is that one. And then my next one is also a Marvel backpack. And this one I got, I got in the Bibbidi box as well and it is my falcon backpack of course since i had winter soldier i had to get falcon as well so now i have the best trio i have my captain america one my winter soldier and my falcon one i kind of wish they released like a captain of falcon because spoiler alert, real spoiler real spoiler if you haven't seen the show that's on you girl i'm sorry <laughs> But, like, a captain version of Falcon, I feel like that would, like, because he's Captain America now. But, like, that'd be cool. And I don't understand why they didn't do that. They should have done that. But, overall, it's a nice backpack. It's of his suit. You got the Marvel plaque lounge fly theme. It has the pockets right here. These pockets are not real. And it's just gray. Like, a gray, silver, black, and red. This is what this side looks like. The straps are red and then here's the cool part let me show you guys let me put it up for you it has his wings isn't that cute this is so cool it's an awesome awesome detail in this backpack my only issue with this detail is um it's really hot especially since it's you know, it's summer it's hot so the if you're wearing the backpack whether you're wearing them like this or you have them tucked because you can tuck it if you don't want to have it out you can tuck it right behind here see um so if you have them out or tucked in it doesn't matter they're gonna get hot they're gonna get sweaty and they start to get like very like i don't know what it's called like loose because it's just so hot and like you sweat so that's my only issue besides that it's pretty cool but i like that you can just if you don't want to have them out you can just tuck it like so but yeah even if you're wearing it like this like your back gets sweaty and it just like you know i hope you guys are understanding what i'm saying but overall i love this backpack i needed it so bad in my collection so love it next backpack i have is another marvel one and it is this one how stinking cute is this one so i wanted this one for like the longest time it sold out pre-order sold out and then i don't remember where exactly i got it from but they restocked it and of course i had to get it and it is the wandavision one so this is wandavision up top you have wanda and vision at the bottom and their cute little halloween costumes definitely gonna be wearing this during the fall halloween season i have yet to wear this backpack um but it's super cute i love the little like fuzzy knit not fuzzy but like the tv static in the background and they're just like chibli style and they're adorable it has this front pocket right here unfortunately this pocket doesn't go quite all the way down so it kind of stops like I want to say right about here it doesn't go completely down in the backpack 
It is all over black. And then on the back, it says a love like you've never seen before in white and it's embroidered. And then the inside line, I believe is the same static as well. Yeah. So it has like this Marvel static of the colors and this is Marvel on it. Um, it still has the packaging because I've yet to use it. The only other thing with this backpack is like one, the side pockets are not even real. And then also it doesn't go, well, I think most of them don't go all the way down. But this one, it feels like it doesn't go like too much all the way down because like this goes so high up. So just a warning, but it is a good size backpack. Um, and it's just stinking cute and it goes on my wanted shelf and yeah i'll definitely be wearing it once it gets closer to the halloween season because it's just so perfect with their costumes probably one of my favorite episodes of the show so there's that one speaking of marvel i will show this item because it's just a wallet um i got this in a bibbity box i want to say this was the last bibbity box i did i got this item and it is this wallet it is the captain america avengers wallet now this wallet matches my captain america lounge fly that i have so you have the a for avengers i love the material right here it's like a velvety feel right here and then the back has kind of the same design except for it has the avengers and game logo right there and then when you open it it looks like this so you can put your cards here your driver's license or id and the lining says whatever it takes, which is the same exact lining that my Captain America lounge fly has, which is probably still to this day one of my favorite lounge flies I own. And then you have this flap to put any cash. And then there is like a little zipper to put like your coins or whatever you need to put here. <laughs> and it has that same lining as well. I thought I would share that since we are speaking of Marvel. Now... The next three bags, which are my last ones I'm going to share with you guys, are all Peter Pan bags. And if you guys know me, I love that movie. It's one of my favorite movies growing up as a kid. We have Tinkerbell over here, which we love her. Um, So all three of these backpacks, I was gifted to me by my fiance, Marcus. And yeah, I was really spoiled this year for my birthday. He not only got me one lounge line, he got me three and they're all Peter Pan. Um, so the first one I have here is this one. I love this one so much. Look it. Ta-da! Sorry for the harsh lighting, but it's so stinking cute. So it's like this beigey cream color, and it's like an overall print of the silhouettes of the darlings. I don't know if you guys can see that. It has Wendy, John, Michael, and then Peter and Tink. You have Tink right in the center right here in gold. The zipper has like a brown lining. You have the Disney lounge line. And then of course on the pocket, you have Peter and Tink. I ship it so, so stinking much. I, if you guys are not, if you guys are new, like I don't like Wendy Darling. I despise her. So, um, yeah, we don't like her. And then the side pockets are not real. This is what the back looks like and the straps. Are brown. I believe this was like a Hot Topic lounge fly, um, I want to say. And then I think the inside lining is just the cream color, I want to say. Yeah, it's just the cream color inside, and then that's the zipper. So I got this bag. I have used this one as well. Um, Marcus and I went to Disneyland, of course, and I bound it as Tinkerbell and he bound it as Peter Pan. So I wore this one with my outfit. And then the next one I'm showing you is what he wore with his outfit. Okay, so next one is the one that Marcus wore with his bound and it is this one. So cute. I personally have not used this one, but I mean, Marcus used it and it is this Lost Boys one. So it has Disney lounge fly pack on the top. It has like kind of like the forest and the leaves and stuff like that. And on this pocket, you have Peter, you have Michael right here with his little teddy. Yeah, the fox one, Lost Boy. I don't know why I can't think of his name right now. And then you have John, there's Toodles. Toodles is my favorite. He's so sticky cute, he's a little skunk. And then you have the twins right here. You have like kind of the same picture on the top. 
And then these pockets are real right here. And then this is what the back, the back is pretty cool. So you have all of them right there. And then that one's Nibs, I believe. And then there's Wendy with Peter, probably telling stories, but probably being annoying at the same time. <laughs> the straps are black. And then the inside lining is like a, is it navy blue? Yeah, like a navy blue with stars. And then all the darlings with Peter and Tink. So it's really, really nice. There's no no zipper in the inside. But it's such a stinking cute bag and I love it so much. And then the last Peter bag I have to share with you guys is one that was on my Grail wish list. Like it was one of the top ones I wanted. It was released last year in 2020. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh my god, I want that backpack too probably. But like, it's such a gorgeous backpack. And I'm so, so grateful that Marcus got me this backpack. So give me one second. It's in a bunch of wrapping because I like to keep it really nice since it is a very exclusive backpack. So just, just bear with me for a minute. <laughs> guys like i love this bag so much i have not used it just yet but this is the mini mouse attraction backpack i want to say this was released in june or july um it is after the p representing the peter pan flights ride at disneyland and walt well, disney i don't know where else it's at but the zipper has like this little tinkerbell like detail the bottom has like a silhouette of London and Big Ben's right here. You have Michael, John, Wendy, and Peter with Tinkerbell and there's like little stars. Oh, and the blue sequence is like literally everything. So you have the bow, here's the ears, and then you have the two stars for second star to the right. Um, gorgeous, such a gorgeous bag. And you even have the sequence go on this side. These pockets are real, but I probably wouldn't even use them just because it's so hard to kind of get into. And then the back is just, you know, plain. And then the inside lining, is there an inside lining? No, it's just the navy blue. Um, there's no like design in the inside lining. I'm pretty sure not. Like all the attraction ones don't have like a design in the inside lining, but it's so gorgeous. Like the different blues and like the gold details is just, <sighs> I love it so much. So this is a lounge fly grail backpack I have. Um, it's gorgeous and I'm so glad I got it. And thanks to Marcus for getting it for me because it's absolutely stunning and I love it so much. I do have the matching mini ears. So when the series came out, let me know if you guys remember when all the different ones came out. But each month they would come out and you'd have to like sign up and pick the items you want. So for this collection, I literally picked every single item because I love Peter Pan. And the only item I got, which I was really lucky to get, was the ears. So I don't have the matching ears to this as well so i'm very lucky to have that such a gorgeous bag but oh my god stunning 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 it's oh gorgeous anyways those are all my recent ones i'm going to show you guys in this video there will be a part six coming soon just because i have so many to share um i believe i shared about like 10 with you guys and i still have like 10 more to share with you guys um but we've reached our limit today so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video definitely comment down below which backpack is your favorite also comment down below what backpack are you currently using what lounge fly are you currently using I am using my Nightmare Before Christmas Vampire Teddy Bat Hat because, of course, I'm excited for the Halloween season. But definitely let me know down below. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a video, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And I'll catch up with you guys next time. Bye! So, so the first one I have to share with you guys... Oh my god, I need to burp. Oh. Uh.
Thank you. Excuse you. Anyway, candy break. It's a really hot in here. Really hot. One more. I share one green. I'm eating chili sprees. It probably shows up backwards on the camera, but really good. And I'm drinking horchata. This is so healthy, guys. Oh, it's like watered down now. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> So it has Wendy, John, Michael, Wendy. I already said Wendy. I need to burp so bad. It's not coming out, of course. <laughs>